Today's tiny apartment is incredibly tiny. The whole place is nine by 10, but it's got its own bathroom and it's right next to Washington Square Park in the heart of the West Village, which is an incredible neighborhood. But it's not rented yet, and we're gonna go find out why. And also what we can do to make a really tiny apartment a little bit more functional. Getting here was so easy. This is one of the best train stations in the city. And look at that, the apartment is a five minute walk. We're also right by NYU, so if you're a student here, a small apartment like the one we're gonna go look at may be an improvement over a dorm room. Right behind me, we've got three businesses feeding off each other. We've got Weed World, which is next to 99 cent pizza. And if you overdose on these two, you've got City MD. Does anyone care about getting a flu shot this year? There's also a fantasy store, which sells bongs and hookahs, clothing that doesn't leave a whole lot to the imagination, and Pringles for some reason. But even though all of that is incredibly exciting, it's not as exciting as Washington Square Park, which is definitely the main draw of the neighborhood here. It's got a working bathroom. Your dog can come out here and make friends or enemies with other dogs. You can also ride your skateboard in the park and no one can stop you. Have you ever been arrested for skateboarding? Ticketed though. Ticketed? How much is a skateboarding ticket? $100. Did you pay it? Yeah, kind of had to. Check out the arch. If you look through it, you can see the Empire State Building. Building. Now just south of the park there are a million ways to spend money and they're all pretty much restaurants. Over here you can get a crepe to go. Next to that there's a little cafe with 100% gluten fed grass free delicious. I'm not sure I read that right. $4 fresh homemade lemonade. My childhood lemonade stand did terrible. Maybe I wasn't charging enough. Third rail coffee. One of the many excellent local coffee options in this area. Over here on the corner you've got live music. Next to that, you've got local pizza. Next to another bong shop. It's funny how these are near every pizza place. Also right by Mamoon's Falafel. Best falafel in town, that's my opinion. That ATM looks so sketchy. But then when you look to the side and you realize that it's right next to the comedy cellar and a ton of other businesses, it really gives you a good indication of what this part of town is like. We're also by Artichoke Pizza, which is good. I just don't like the actual artichoke flavor. Next to this, we've got Off the Wagon, which is basically a frat bar. This over here is the Saigon Shack and their Vietnamese sandwich is something else. Plus they've also got coffee, great spot. Eat more chicky. I'm guessing this is a chicken place. Not German, so I don't know what's going on here, but this looks like some sort of meat place. Belgian chocolate, I can understand that. There's another pizza place here and another one here. Denio's, not Domino's. What a travesty that would be. A bacon buffalo chicken ranch pizza. I could probably eat two of those. Chocolate dip. It looks like another crepe place and I think the only problem with this block is everything is either pizza or some sort of junk food. And since we're near NYU and that's all college students eat, that makes perfect sense. Right here is the building. Downstairs there's a crepe place and a place that has rolls. Not sure what kind, but since it's here and it's able to pay rent on McDougal Street, they're probably doing all right. Here we are, this is it. It is small, but it's got a big window face in the street and it has its own bathroom and I think you could make food here. The ceilings in here are 10 and a half feet. And when setting this place up, I think we're gonna have to think in three dimensions and use some of that ceiling height to our advantage. If you've got suggestions, leave them in the comments. Hit the thumbs up if you have fun watching and make sure you subscribe. I make a bunch of tours like this every single week and I don't want you to miss one. So there's the front door. You've got part of the kitchen here 
and the other part here, and everything else here is the living space. Let's get out the measuring tool. This place is nine feet by 10 feet. If you put your bed over there, nothing else is gonna fit in this apartment. That's gonna max out the space. Instead, you should get like a loft and put the bed up high. If you get the bed up off the ground, you're gonna be able to have a desk and a workstation or maybe a small couch or something underneath it. And next to that, you could bolt a small leaf table to the wall. Something that swings up and down would go perfectly right there. And that would give you a spot to sit and eat. But can you make food here with just a sink and a microwave and a fridge? There's an outlet here. You could probably plug in a hot plate. Just unplug it when you're done because it's right next to the sink, which doesn't have any features, but it is clean. And look at the water pressure. It's not bad. There's also this big cabinet. This looks like pieces of the countertop, but that storage, that's not bad. Then you've got even more below the sink. Things under here look pretty clean, and even though this place is small, at least it's not like totally beat. Now, next to the kitchen on this side of the counter, a folding countertop could be installed right here. Again, something that flips up or down. That would give you more space to work if you're making anything. Just make sure that you lock the door because if someone opens it, they're gonna take out everything. But that would definitely work and it wouldn't take up a lot of room. Now, we are looking out over the street and since we're on the fifth floor we're not getting a ton of street noise at all five flights of stairs it's like having a free gym membership. I'm also noticing now there's an AC and I'm actually happy that it's already installed up there. I wouldn't be able to do that myself. Plus it means you can open this window and it doesn't take up a whole lot of the sunlight that you get. We've got a place to sleep. You can kind of make food, but what about your clothes? I don't see any storage. These shelves aren't gonna do a whole lot, but there is this loft up here. If you bolt a ladder to the wall, you'll be able to get up here. And although it wouldn't exactly be convenient, you you could put dressers and clothes up there, no problem. This looks like you could have hung stuff on it, but since the fridge and the microwave are here, you'd have to get those out of the way and push them to the side. But instead of doing that, why don't you just put a hanger or something against the wall here? All that space could be used to hang things like jackets and jeans or whatever, and it would be right next to the door so you could grab what you need before you go. I'd probably install a few more of these up higher, and if there's shelves over here, you might as well put more over here and build those up. And in invest in like a little stepladder so that you could get up and reach everything. The bathroom here is pretty interesting, but it has everything. Toilets over here, then you've got the shower. Oh boy, this is a real tiny sink, look at it. Wash one hand at a time, and I don't know if you could bend over while brushing your teeth. There is a nice big mirror, which also turns into a medicine cabinet. So you do have some storage. This shelf behind the toilet, that's also gonna be useful. Just make sure that if you're gonna put paper products there, you get like a shower curtain to block that. Because I'm guessing when you take a shower in here, the water kind of gets all over the place. Does that make this a self-cleaning bathroom? If you wanna rent this place, check out the video description for a link to the agent's contact info and then Pick another apartment tour, and I'll see you in the next video.